Hey guys, Marika, Milton Public Library, back with you today for week three um, of fantasy books. So here we go. The first book that I am bringing you today is called Nightlights, and this is book is by Lorena Alvarez. So this book follows Sandy, and Sandy is this really super creative girl who's full of imagination. Now, she goes to this Catholic school, which is super strict, and has all of these crazy rules, and um, it's just not necessarily like the best place for someone who is as um, imaginative as Sandy is. But she bides her time by um, doodling. So she doodles all these pretty flowers and these plants and animals and just this like whimsical little fantasy creatures. So um, then it, one day there's this new girl at school and this new girl is admiring um, all of her little doodles or whatever um and she's asking her to draw something for her well um everything isn't exactly as it seems and um some stuff happens and sandy finds herself having to like use her imagination to overcome her fear and face danger. So this book is kind of unusual because it's a graphic novel, um, but it kind of looks like a picture book, but it is a graphic novel. Um, it's just really, really gorgeous book. So that's Nightlights by Lorena Alvarez. Next book that I have for you is called Monstrous. And this book is by um, Mary Kate Connolly. So this book is like um, Frankenstein meets Brothers Grimm. And so it is about Chimera. And Chimera does not remember anything before. And the, the after part is her dad um resurrected her like franken style fashion so odds and ends uh bits and pieces and um uh, it seems as if he did it just sort of like whatever was lying around haphazardly but he didn't he had a plan and everything that she now um has and can do is um is strategic and he wants to use her to um rescue these young girls who have fallen under the spell of um this evil wizard so um he is going to he made her for the purpose of rescuing these girls and so that they can be cured and then sent to this utopian uh wonderland so it's just really like the, to me the epitome of fantasy and a nice little take on sort of like the Frankenstein-ish story. So that is Monstrous by Mary Kate Connolly. The next book that I'm bringing you today is called A Wish in the Dark and this book is by Christina Soon Torvant. Um, so this is just a really wonderfully told story about privilege and humanity. So Pong was born in a prison and so then that therefore in turn means that he will be condemned to live his whole life behind bars, which sounds absolutely just insane. But um, so he finds his life really unfair as he should because it is. Um, he managed to escape prison and find a new life somewhere else. Now the repercussions of this happened to fall on the family of the warden who is in charge of the prison. So um, the the uh, daughter of the prison warden decides, because um, she's being blamed for him being missing, so she decides that at um, whatever it takes, she's going to find him to restore her family honor and make this situation right. Um, it's just a really great uh, story um, about the difference in privilege and not having privilege and um, 
yeah so it's just wonderful and it is a wish in the dark by christina soon tour vant last book that i am bringing you is called crenshaw and this book follows jackson and jackson lives with his parents and his little sister robin now jackson's parents are failed musicians and so um financial hardship is nothing that is new to them and uh his dad also suffers from ms so situations do become pretty hard they've previously lived in their van and they're facing that again so jackson brings back his old imaginary friend crenshaw to help him get through the situation um <clears throat> so this story is about homelessness hardship and how children see the world and perceive these problems especially when they are facing them themselves um it's also about how adults underestimate how um hard this is on kids and how they also exclude the children in the decisions and the talking about these situations um the story is just really heartfelt and um and amazing and uh, Crenshaw is a cat and everyone needs a cat even if they're imaginary when they are going through hard times so yeah this book is Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate so those are my um, last little group of fantasy books for this month I hope out of all of them that a couple of them are books that you would like to read or have read because of these recommendations and um i will be back next week with this month's new books bye